When Adobe killed Flash in January 2021, trains in China stopped working. The short attention span press profited from the impression people were getting that the actual trains used Flash to accelerate, brake and open doors, or that the entire train network was simulated using Flash, but of course it wasn't. From the little bits of background information that were made public, it is clear that simply the software for loading train schedules relied on Flash, making dispatchers unable to print them. Just like China Rail, you should not run Flash. And I would not run Flash. But if I had formed a strong connection to an old Flash game that never got remade, or a completely unique music samples database, hint hint, I might allow myself to take the risk while trying to minimize it. So, let's run Flash. And I mean Flash, not the, to be completely honest, completely useless Flash emulators like Ruffle, Gnash or Lightspark. Oh wait, it actually kind of works? What? The fonts are weird. The fonts are quite weird, but this actually works? Did, did they incredibly improve this in the last few weeks or something? This actually works! I, oh, okay, the scrolling doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you cannot really scroll and the audio keeps playing. You have to... what? Ah. Yes, there are issues, but I am impressed with how well it actually does work. Wow. Anyways, let's get back on track. Please note that this is completely unsafe and nobody should ever do this. Just like nobody should ever install Windows XP without any service packs, write all their passwords in a text file on their desktop and start visiting shady websites in the oldest version of Internet Explorer they can find. Wanting to check out Ishkur's Guide to Electronic Music 2.5 is one good reason to use Flash today. Thankfully, there is a prepackaged Firefox portable with Flash. For security, I recommend Sandboxy. Free for download, there's Classic and Plus versions, I still use Classic. Extract Portable Firefox, right click it and run it in Sandboxed. That's how I do it at least. You can also just run it like that, which probably will be less safe. And give it admin permissions for reasons unknown. Get rid of that. And this warning says, this plugin is vulnerable and should be updated. Should so you can just run Adobe Flash instead. Okay, no idea what the site is. So let's go to techno.org, yes, run Adobe Flash, allow. There it is. Wow, this is laggy. I think it's because it's just loading resources. Let's try that again. Reloading. Okay. Whatever. It's laggy, but it works. And it's actual Flash, not one of these non-functioning Flash emulators. There's nobody gonna keep developing, because Flash is dead. Flash is dead. Alright. Links are in the description of this video. Enjoy the show. Till next time, ciao.